part of me thinks, you know, as Christians, who, <laughs> we read the Bible, but we lo- don't learn from history, right? History repeats itself. And so when you look at the triumphal ent- entry of Jesus, when he comes, uh, you know, over the Mount of Olives into Jerusalem, and, and the people are uh, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, which in Hebrew means save us, but it, it has a military edge to it. And they were, they were expecting Jesus to come in as this military leader and fight the battle for them and eradicate the Romans. I think as Christians, we do the same thing today. We say Hosanna and we get online and then we try to wipe out the other Christians who disagree with us. Like we, we didn't learn from the lesson, right? Jesus wept over that. We, we, we got to learn from the lesson and we need to stop using our faith as a weapon. And we have to start inviting people to the table because everything changes when it's someone you know, right? That issue that you're so adamant they're wrong about, <laughs> when your kid comes home and says, that's me now, Oof, that'll change everything. Everything changes when it's someone you know. Yeah, yeah, and maybe that's by design as well, yeah. <laughs> Andrew? I was thinking, you know, we all know the verse well. It says, as a, as a man, as a woman thinks in their heart, so are they. And it's very typical in human nature to look at the culture and the world outside and say, this world is making me behave this way. These people are saying this thing, and so naturally I respond the way that I do. And the gospel challenges me as much as it challenges you to say that if my heart is at war, I will be at war with the world. And so if I start looking at how do I change the world, I mean, what a question. How do I make everyone else do better stuff? How do I get everyone else to change their behavior? When I'm about to have a difficult conversation, the number one thing that I like to try and start with, although I don't always succeed, is where is my heart at war with this? Is there a fight in me with this person? Is there an argument that I have? Because that will come out in my conversation. And if I have the love of God for this person, if I have Jesus' perspective on who they are, that will start me in a far stronger space than how do I win the argument? How do I carry the day? How do I change the culture? I can't change the culture. But God willing, by the grace of God, maybe I can change. 